Hello everyone, uh, good morning. Let us solve the problem C from the weekly count is 387. So, minimum operations to write the letter Y on the grid. So, try this problem for at least 20 minutes. So, of, after trying for 20 minutes, then you can come and watch the video solution. So, if you do that regularly, then only you, you will improve your problem solving skills. Uh, if you are completely dependent on video solutions, then you are never going to learn data structures and algorithms. So, please follow that. Now, you are given a 0 indexed n plus n grid where n is odd and a grid of RC is 0, 1 or 2 it is saying that n cross n grid and where n is definitely odd and the grid values can be 0, 1 or 2. We say that a cell belongs to a letter y if it belongs to one of the following. The diagonal starting at top left cell and ending at the center cell of the grid and the diagonal starting at top right cell and ending at the center cell. The vertical line starting at the center cell and ending at the bottom border of the grid saying that the y is something which can form it will start from the top left and it will reach till the center and either it can start from the top right and it can reach the center and from the center it will go till the bottom and same with this is 5 cross 5 matrix and if this is 7 cross 7 so this is also follows the same pattern same pattern. Now, the letter y is written on the grid if and only if all values at the cell beginning belonging to the y are equal. That means, if you are following this path, this path all the elements in the cells should be equal, should be equal all the values at the cell not belong to the y are equal and all the elements now these elements are not belonging to y1 these positions. So, these are all should not be equals to this element and these are all should be equal and it should be other than this y element. Now, all values at this belonging to y are different from this value set not belong to y. That means, suppose if my y is 0, y is 0 then the remaining all my remaining elements can be either 1 or 2 not both 1 or 2. If my y is 1 it can be 0 or 2, if it is 2 it can be 1 or 2 he is saying that. We to return the minimum number of operations needed to write the letter y on the grid given that in one operations you can change the value at any cell to 0 to 1 or we to return the minimum number of operations to perform to make this condition satisfied. So, I think you have got the solution try try for a couple of minutes try to think how exactly you can solve this. So, this is the easy problem guys. So, you need to construct y somehow you need to construct it try to think. And this is this is like uh, predefined. So these values are predefined. Either start with top left and top right, and this is my fixed. So how you can dynamically do that? So one thing is, so let's see how you can do that. So I think you have tried for a couple of minutes. Let's say this function called fill fill. So what I am doing is I am making all my these elements as visited all my these elements as visited. So, how I can do here? So, I am starting at i is equal to 0 and j is equal to 0 that means suppose if you are having a grid 3 cross 3, 3 cross 3, I am going to start at here and i plus plus j plus plus. So, I will come here in the same way i is equal to 0, j is equal to n minus 1, I will be at here and I will decrement my j coming down to this position in the same i is equal to n by 2 plus 1 that means we are at this position we will go till the down here we are incrementing the i that means we are incrementing the column. Try to think how exactly you can do that try to draw the grid and what exactly we are doing. So, this is a pretty straightforward one. So, we are filling it we are saying that we are visited. So, after visiting after visiting so I will calculate all my zeros, 1s and 2s in the y. So, I will calculate zeros, 1s and 2 in the y. So, this is my v1. So, v1 is something that y and v2 is something that remaining remaining. So, v1. So, whenever it is visited whenever it is visited and my v of i j is equal to 0. So, v1 of 0 plus plus 1 plus plus 2 plus 2. that means this v1 stores the frequencies of 0, 1 and 2. In the same way my v2 will store the remaining frequencies of v1 0, 1 and 2. So, if it is visited of i equals to 0 that means we are not visited it. So, that is why we are storing in the v2. Okay, we have done that. Now, we need to follow this condition this whenever my y is 0 
we need to go with 1 and 2 how you can get that how you can get that let's see now i will start from i is equal to 0 i less than 2 and cost of y how you can describe the cost of y suppose v1 plus v1 v1 of 0 v1 of 1 v1 of 2 that means it will give the total sum we are getting the total sum and i want my first element to be zeros all elements to be zero so what i can subtract here what i can subtract here minus v1 of 0 right v1 of 0 if you are subtracting v1 of 0 we will get all the mismatches cost of y all the mismatches if you are equaling to 0 if you are equaling it to 1 so we are subtracting v1 of 1 or else v2 of 2 so in this way it will iterate till the two times and you will calculate the cost of y so i think you have got it why we are subtracting v1 of 0 if you are subtracting v1 of 0 we will get the remaining cost the operations we need to perform to switch from 1 to 0 or 0 to 1 and this is my cost of y and i am taking the cost of remaining as into minimum and i am iterating j is equals to 0 j less than or equals to if i is equals to j that means if we are going with 0 my y is filled with 0 and my remaining element should not be filled with 0 right as in the question you mentioned if it is 0 we should fill it with either 1 or it should be filled with 2 and we are going here and we are doing the same if you want to fill with 1 if you want to fill with 1 we are subtracting it v2 of j we are adding all the v2s and we are subtracting whichever value we want to make equal because we want the remaining cost so in this way we are calculating the cost to remaining is equal to minimum of cost to uh, cost to remaining comma t and finally we are calculating the answer answer equals to minimum of answer comma so this is my cost of y this is my cost of y and this is my remaining cost so in this way we are returning the minimum cost so if you see here my time complexity will be order of n into n hardly n into n it going to take and my space will be we are using some extra space called visited so it will be n into n so you can solve it without using extra space as well so it's up to your choice this is the way i have done in the contest so you can find various approaches you can go into the solution step and you can see the different approaches so i think you have learned something new from this video so if you learned something new please do consider like and please subscribe to my channel and i have created a whatsapp community code with confidence and i have given the whatsapp link in the description if you are interested in dsa and if you want to discuss your approaches you can join that community i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye